hello everyone and welcome back to my channel um i've been away for a while but the good news is i'm back now and i'm happy to get started and start digging into tutorials again uh today i want to talk about how to go from figma to code and to a deployed site all in well five minutes maybe uh so you know as a front-end engineer uh the ideal process is you you get designs on figma possibly from your ui designer and your job is to translate that into code and to eventually deploy it to a site uh, where everybody can visit, right? Uh, the natural, well, the traditional process is you get a Figma design file and you have to, you know, write all the code, uh, push it to GitHub, deploy it, and then, you know, get feedback and all. What I'm going to show you is how to use Plasmic, uh, which is a visual uh, page builder that can help you translate all your design files from Figma to code and then deploy the site for you in just well a couple of minutes uh so let's dive in find out how you can do that and quickly get started uh so this is my figma file i will open up one of my projects uh which is this one so this is a uh a design that a designer gave me when i was trying to build out my website uh, i didn't end up using it but it should suffice for what we want to do uh, so let's open this up in the editor and this is the home page so the first thing you want to do if you haven't already done it is to go back to your home page and install the um, uh, Plasmic uh, plugin. So let's browse plugins, search for Plasmic, and you should see the first one, Figma to Code by Plasmic, right? So let's try that out. And that's it. We have it. So the next thing I want to do is come back here and click on this so when i select the particular canvas that i want to uh, export so i want to export this home page i can click on this and click on figma to code so i'm trying to export this so that i can use it uh, in my plasmic project so i'll click on this and run that then click on export selected layer to clipboard so when you do this plasmic is going to uh, copy all of that selected layer to your clipboard, which means if you create a Plasmic project, you can paste that in and you will get exactly the same design, but as code as well. So let me just show you how that works. Uh, so I'll come back to my Plasmic project. <clears throat> if you don't have a Plasmic account, you can create one by going to uh, plasmic.app, uh, sign up for free, and that should get you started, right? Uh, but I already have an account, so I will just go ahead and create a new project and make it a blank one. The first thing I want to do when I create a new Plasmic project is to rename it because every new project uh, comes with a default name and that is blank project. Uh, so I'll change the name to website UI test. Okay, uh, and then let me clean this out since I'm pasting in something I copied from Figma. I don't also want the, the mobile responsive design, so I'll just use this. So then click on Command V to paste what we copied from Figma. Fantastic, looks like our designs are coming into Plas Plasmic as expected. Uh, we did get a little pop-up here telling us that the font secular STD uh, isn't available in, in Plasmic because it's a custom font that the designer used for my product, for my pro project. So uh, it's expected for it not to be available here. But you can, of course, import fonts and add fonts to Plasmic as you wish. Um, so let's do another one just for the sake of completeness. Uh, I'm going to come back to my design. And let's do which one, which one, which one? Uh, let's do the writing one right so i'm going to click on this select that layer export it figma to code run that and click on this blue uh, button to copy that to clipboard and that's done so back to plasmic i'm going to create a new page and let's call it i think it's writing yeah let's call it writing and then i'm going to paste the uh the, the figma design i copied from the other side so this will take a minute 
or less and there we go uh, we have that so the next thing I want to do is uh, basically add a link to this so that when you click it it goes back to the home page uh, so let's do that I will select this Kenny uh, free box convert that to a link and I want the destination to be the home page right and then in the home page I want to do the same thing when you click on do I have writing okay have writing uh, I'll convert writing to a link and when you click that I want it to take you to the writing page all right uh, that's that's as much as I want to do right to basically show you how to get this figma design file uh, you know do a little bit of edit which is what I just did add a couple of links to lead to different places and I want to publish this site right let's say for instance I have finished uh, coding the site uh, let me get it up to github so you click on publish uh, and push to github uh, let's connect this to, to github it's going to authenticate with the github account that is currently signed in on your browser uh, if there's one if there isn't one it's going to ask you to authenticate uh, so now I'm selecting to push this site to a new repo uh, if you like to add it to an existing repo you can also do that uh, so let's give this repository a name uh, let's call it website UI test uh, UI test and uh, you can also deploy it to multiple or uh, multiple frameworks uh, if you want it, you can use Next.js, Gatsby, or you can just use plain React. Um, you can select a choice of language, TypeScript or JavaScript. I will use TypeScript. Uh, the mode is how Plasmic will serve your project. So the loader is recommended, uh, which means our your project files is going to be fetched uh, from an API, uh, which is recommended for like more, but for a more complex uh, project or use case, you should use a code gen. Uh, which is which means all your project files are going to be generated as, as it is needed uh, The domain is let me just use the same name for the repository put that here and save the repository information And now that's done. I want to commit this to main directly if you want it you can uh, uh, Set up a, a different branch and then make a pull request to main uh, if that is your preference But I want to commit directly to main and then i'll hit on publish and what happens is this kicks off a github action that goes on on, on github and start the process of you know what setting up a job creating a next.js site uh uh adding plasmic to it building out the sites uh, according to the design we have and then finally deploying it to github pages uh, you can actually watch and follow the process on github uh, let me just click here and you can see it's currently setting up uh, a job uh, so if you look at the repository at the moment it's kind of empty right it doesn't have anything yet uh, but as the setup progresses uh, you go through this step setting up a job building up the PR uh, up until the point where it has deployed your site to github pages you can monitor that process as well all of this is happening on github server uh, it's just a github action doing its thing uh, if you check here as well you should also monitor the process so as it is happening here, it's getting updated on the popover or on Plasmic if you wanted to follow the process from here. So let's just give this uh, a minute or so and we'll check out the site, uh, which will be available here when it is completely deployed. So it looks like our project was completed successfully, uh, but there's a warning here that GitHub pages may take a minute or two for your changes to show. What that means is if you check the, the website on the deployed on the deployed domain, which is this one, uh, you will see that it's currently not showing up. Uh, GitHub Pages is taking its time to you know set up the project and show it to you when it's ready. If you come back though to the application to the repository on GitHub and go back to that repo, you will see that now we have a Next.js application that is set up for us and has all our project files and if we finally run it we should get exactly what we have the functionality that we've uh, specified on plasmic so uh, let's try this again and see if github pages is working and it is indeed working so we have that project right here uh, same way we want it so if i go to writing i should get the other page as it was in our in our plasmic project and if i click on this i should be able to go back to the home page 
fantastic so that's how you go from figma uh to plasmic to code and to getting a deployed site in less than five minutes uh something else i want to mention is that you can also work locally uh with this uh so for instance if i want to do some if i want to get this or uh, down to my vs code i could easily uh, get clone this repository uh let me pull up my terminal and uh let's do git clone and now i can go into the website ui test repo and let's open that up in vs code awesome uh something else i want to do though is to just do npm install so we can install all the packages that comes with the project awesome looks like our packages are installed successfully so to, ju to just show you that the the project is going to work exactly the same if you're building locally i'm going to do npm run dev and this is working in uh in port 3000 uh, so let's check back on the browser and go to that port and we should get exactly the same application right uh so if you wanted to make edits everything would work exactly the same so if i go to writing i see the uh the other page that we specified on plasmic uh which is this one right and if i go back to the home page i'll get the home page which is this one awesome uh so i'm going to do a couple more um tutorials on working with plasmic you know the things you can do uh, of course i'm not really doing anything i'm not showing it, showing off the plasmic functionalities yet um we have a lot more things to show you about this but in the meantime i just wanted to give you this quick intro on how you can move your code uh from from a ui design in figma up to getting it deployed to github pages or to or, or using any uh, any front-end framework of your choice uh so for next time uh we're going to look more into how to use plasmic design tools to kind of like build your build out your own design right as opposed to using figma in the first place you can actually use plasmic to design your site and then uh generate your code and deploy it so see you next time